Hey, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys this quick, very quick tutorial about how I do my foundation when I'm in a rush and using powder foundations. I like full coverage, liquid, heavy foundations on a daily. And um, I think this foundation routine will please those who like that, but also you can fix it to whatever suits your taste in terms of coverage and heaviness and cakiness if you will. This is a very quick makeup tutorial and I really like the way it turns out. I really like using these products too if I'm on a rush because I know it's going to still look like I did a full face but it doesn't take all the extra work and all the extra process of setting and things like that. I'll be showing you all the steps so stay tuned. Ugh. Okay, ignore that brush right there because it's going to be there the whole time. So to start off with my powder foundations, I'm going to be first talking about these two. These are the Studio Fix Fluids. I talk about Studio Fix powders um, by MAC. I talked about these in my favorites. I already started off by moisturizing my face. I use the Nivea aftershave balm because it's not so tacky and it dries kind of um, like, like squeaky clean. Um, the brushes that I would recommend for this particular tutorial type thing are flathead brushes or very dense brushes. Um, I like the e.l.f. one a lot so I'm going to use the e.l.f. one today. I'm going to mix between NC40 and NC42. Usually girls with tan skin or women of color, um, we have different tones all over our faces. We have dark here, light here, and then dark here, so it's crazy. So if you can see the difference, you see how like drastic they are? So I'm going to be going between both. First one I'm starting off with is my concealer. Uh, on my concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. This is an NW4 to 5. I'm almost out of this. Where did you, uh, do you remember when I bought this little spatula? I got it at, um, what store is it? Oh yeah. Uh, the container store. Underneath. And I'm just kind of buffing it in. It's going to take a baby beauty blender. It's not damp, but only because I'm lazy. I usually do like it when it's damp. All right, now that that's all on, I'm going to be going in between NC42 and NC40. It's kind of look crazy right now. So first I'm going to press some of the powder onto my face. And then I'm going to buff it in. So I'm going to mix between both of them because I'm not just one color. I'm kind of both. And it's hard to tell which one at any given moment. The beauty with this kind of foundation um, routine is that you can do it on the go because you don't really need like, you don't need any like wet water or you don't need sponges necessarily. You can just go, you don't need like a palette or you don't need to dirty your hand. So because my under eyes might crease, I'm just gonna quickly just tap them a little bit and then dip my brush into the NC40 powder because NC40 is a little light on me. Now I'm just going to tap it under there. So now with my Hula bronzer, I'm going to put some life back into my face. This is my favorite brush for bronzer. This is the Elf Complexion brush. And I like to just do that. The nice thing too about the powder foundation is that everything that you put on top glides on so much nicer. So much easier there's no trick to blending it just kind of blends on its own that's what's awesome about it one thing that you want to do also is just be thoughtful that this could make your skin look super super dry it, and I have oily skin, so for me, it's going to work really well throughout the day, so it's going to last long. But if you have like regular skin, you want to bring some luminosity like, out of back to the face. So what I'm going to be doing is using kind of like a shimmery blush. And this one that I'm using is in the color um, Tropic Hues. It's a blush and bright from Laura Geller. It looks like this guy. But it does have like a sheen to it. And just to kind of deepen the blush color, I'm going to add Outlaw, oops, wrong brush, Outlaw by NARS. It just looks like that guy. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna quickly do my brows and just to sharpen them a tiny bit, I'm actually just gonna use the brush from the L'Oreal concealer. I'm just gonna use that as a way to clean up that brow. For my mascara, I'm using my favorite one right now. This is the Lash Stiletto. It's a really nice and long. I'm only gonna do a thin coat. One thing that does help if you're using a powder foundation is to add a highlight, but before I do that, I'm gonna spray myself with some kind of misting water. This is the Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Um, I have a lot of thoughts about setting sprays. This one in particular doesn't necessarily make my makeup last longer, but what it does is it kind of breaks down some of that powder so it doesn't look so dry. That's why I like this one. And while that's still kind of dewy and doing its thing, I'm gonna use Global Glow by MAC. And I'm not being shy with the highlighter because the highlighter is what's going to make it look more like skin. Skin naturally has a dewiness to it. It has like a nice sheen to it, especially um, well-nourished skin. So that's why it's always a good idea to kind of add some kind of shine to your face. For gloss, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Elixir. This one's in the color Raspberry Rhapsody. I can never say that word if I wanted to. So that's the finished makeup. I hope you guys liked it. This particular foundation tutorial took me 13 minutes to do. I'm looking at the time right now and it says 13 minutes. This will take you probably 10 minutes to do. Um, also, while you're on here, make sure that you're clicking onto my vlog channel. It's called Susie's Diary. Um, I don't know how easy it is to search for it, to be honest, because there's a lot of Susie's in this world. Um, but I'm going to send you a couple of pictures. So first you just go onto my page and one of the selections, it'll tell you channels and you can select the channel and then click subscribe. That's how you'll get notified of all my upcoming vlogs. I'll be posting more vlogs along the way just because they're a little bit easier now to post on there. I'll see you guys later. Bye!